before we get started, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is one of the leading brands in men's grooming technology. That's right, Manscaped will take good care of your no-no bits. My personal favorite product from the Manscaped line would have to be the tried and true Lawnmower 4. When it comes to getting a close, sexy shave, Manscaped has got you covered. Not to mention it has a tried and true travel lock system, so it won't go off in your suitcase when you're traveling. <laughs> Last thing you need is your ball razor cutting through all your clothes. You don't have to worry about that with Manscaped. If you use my code JAMESM, you will save 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. What are you waiting for? Get Manscaped today. Hi everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. And we are doing a makeup video today and we have a special guest, you guys. I announced this a little while ago, but I gave birth. Well, not really, I adopted. Welcoming my drag daughter, Bryce. Hi. <laughs> Right, I moved to Las Vegas and now I have children. It's, what is happening in the world? How are you today? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> it's like a fun little introduction. Me and Bryce are gonna do our makeup together and discuss drag here in the Las Vegas scene. But first things first, we have to block our eyebrows because that is a long process and it's boring. It's gonna be interesting watching and surveying how you block your brows. I know, I'm kind of nervous for you to see my nub brow. <laughs> I'm definitely someone who does a nub. All right. We're gonna block and we'll be right back. <laughs> we are back. All right, it's time to start doing our makeup. Now, I start foundation first. How do you start your makeup? I start with my eyebrows and then my eyes. That's <laughs> wild. Yeah, it's so opposite. <laughs> Too much fallout. I can't. I can't do foundation first. You know what? That's probably a good idea because I always have fallout and I complain about it. That's <laughs> I, probably a good remedy yeah. for the situation. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, for those of you wondering how me and Bryce came to become friends, um, we actually met each other through Justin. Yes, um, both of our costume designers. Yes, <laughs> we adore you, Little Miss Justin. And I believe I asked you to be my drag daughter one night at the garden when I was very intoxicated. <laughs> what do you mean? Not a drop of alcohol was involved. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there looking at you and you're like, just like, Bryce. <laughs> You're drag mom. <laughs> just wobbling side to side. Uh, yeah, and the rest is history. Here we are. No, not even that. Just like, I remember I asked you if you, I made you my drag daughter that night. And then like three weeks passed. And I, re I remember texting you like, odd question. Did, I remember this text. Did I ask you to be my drag daughter? <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, you did. We had, we discussed it a little bit. It's like, okay, well then it's still, it stands. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Because oh. initially I wasn't going to have children at all because I thought it was kind of redundant and silly, but I like the idea now. You know, I was there. a surprise to my real parents. I might as well be a surprise to my drag mom too. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> now, what I think I like most about your drag is the fact that like, we are wildly different from each other. Very. Like... Like, it's like, it works out still. <laughs> And I like the fact that you are really, really talented. And like, you could do some like really crazy things that like I couldn't even imagine. Like, right, I saw first saw Bryce when they had a Las Vegas superstar contest here, and for drag queens, and they announced her. And I saw her come out, and I know she was Justin's friend. And I saw you, and like within the first three seconds, you did like a front flip. <laughs> and that I sounds, about right. <laughs> sounds about right. Sounds about right. Like landed like the butt flap girl pose. I was like, what the <laughs> hell is this queen? <laughs> Yeah, I think you you judged on that was a wild night, but um, you judged on the night we did like celebrity impersonations, and I was being Paris Hilton. You were Paris Hilton. <laughs> My, forgive me for forgetting this. A lot happened that night. A lot happened then. <laughs> like a girl got arrested. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. 
But no, you do actually like aerial work and stuff too, don't you? I do. I train aerial straps and chains and I performed aerial chains in a show here in Vegas actually for a little bit. Um, it's an Australian show called The World's Greatest Freak Show, but um, it was just here for like a month, month and a half. How many shows have you been on this trip so far? Uh, just two shows so far on this trip. Okay. Three actually, because La Femme, Wow, and then Freak Show. Work. Yeah, and I've lived here a year. <laughs> Wow, that's the water show, right? Yes, Wow's well, the water show. That's the one you're on currently. <laughs> yes, that's the one I'm in the dance captain of. Wow, really? <laughs> How do I know so little about you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the kind of parent I am. He's very Joan Crawford of me. Very Joan. You're your own person. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't really talk about dance whenever I go out. I'm like, that's like so. <laughs> like our friend group is mostly dancers, so we hang out. The last right. thing you guys want to talk about is dancing. <laughs> right, exactly. We're all like dead from like five shows a day, but it's fun. I would rather do not. I would literally. I love my job. <laughs> now I'm so happy. I know WOW is like the water show. What exactly do you have to do in that thing? Because it sounds intense. So. I am just a dancer in that show, but I also swing the aerial axe, so, or, well, am training to swing the aerial axe. So, like, I have to dive in the beginning, I go underwater, I, like, stay underwater for, like, three, four minutes. Yeah, I get to breathe through a respirator every day. <laughs> it's great. Um, and then, yeah, we just have our dance numbers, we have jugglers, we have, um, tons of aerial and just crazy things happening. How do you not feel like you got in a car crash every, like, after every show, like? No, legit. That's like how my back feels. And you see, I can kind of relate because I've been recently like taking up dancing. You've actually helped me out a little bit. We've had a few classes together. Yeah. And you can say, knowing me as a student, that like I'm a, I'm a slow mover. No, but you're <laughs> fine. Definitely, um, definitely mover is the correct <laughs> word there. She, she can move. You've been like dancing your whole life practically, huh? Yeah, I started dancing when I was nine with hip hop. And then from there, like the next year I was in competition dance and was doing everything. Well, like when you say you like the hip hop as a kid, was it like that one meme of like the lady, like that's hip hop. No, fully. We would do this thing called hip hop in a box and it would be like, step to the side, clap, step to the side, clap. You to look at this, that's what makes it hip hop. <laughs> that's what makes it hip hop. Yeah, no, fully. <laughs> so that's like how I started dancing. Yeah, it's like, how did you stumble into doing drag? Um, actually, Alaska Thunderfuck. I found her songs on Musical.ly and it was Your Makeup is Terrible and that was what sold it. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, I was like, oh, that's also what I want to do. That was your aha moment? That was the aha moment. I think for me, when I realized I wanted to do drag or like this is something I think I want to do, was when I saw Queen's like Head of Lettuce and Varla, like they used to do tours and stuff. And like, that's what you had to do if you wanted to be a comedy queen. Right. You like towards cities. So I saw Hedda at Pride Fest in Milwaukee. And like, she had to go on for Kathy Griffin, who was running behind for some reason. I think maybe her face collapsed or something. <laughs> but they forced her out to do an extra 10 minute set. And like, she carried the audience for 10 minutes longer than she was actually supposed to. And I was looking at her banter and like the way she would like carry on with people. I was like, I want to do that. Like, yeah. That seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, and you're from Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. How is, so how's the drug scene out there? I actually want to know. You know... Or when you were growing up. Well, when I was coming up, literally, if you were living in Milwaukee, what you had to do if you wanted to do drag was you had to enter pageants, and that was the only way to break in. So wait, are you a pageant girl? Um, no. I oh. actually am the daughter of a pageant girl, though. My original drag mother, who sadly is no longer with us, Ruby D'Angelo, she was a pageant queen in Milwaukee, and she told me, she took me under her wing and she saw me trying to do drag and doing it horribly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a booger. And she said something to me that really clicked, which was, it's okay that you want to do comedy, that's great, that's beautiful, but you can be pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> You can be funny and you know, pretty. The best, the best compliments have a little bit of backbone. <laughs> and this is right after I was in her talent for like a competition and I looked horrible. But oh. that's what she told me, like, you know, you could look better and it would probably be a lot more entertaining. You could look better. That was like also like, that was like not even a four on the level of shade from Queens back then. Oh. They could look vicious. Oh, I could only imagine. 
but like that's how you broke in you like would run drinks for girls you do zipping up girls in the back just so you can sit and watch paint because we didn't really have youtube like that right like you can look everything up now i actually learned i learned how to do like my, a lot of my makeup from watching my sister growing up like a lot of the makeup i do um resembles what she would do in high school because she was like a scene girl she wore too oh i was gonna say she was one of the girls that wore too much makeup <laughs> very much that like her <laughs> eyeliner was like is literally like drag eyeliner oh, but like she would do it so fast and it would be like shoop Seen kids though, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, both my siblings were seen kids. Like big, I'm talking like MySpace era hair, everything. Oh my God, did you have a MySpace page? No, MySpace wasn't around when I was um, allowed to get social media. <laughs> that hurt a little bit to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me right in the age. But I, my sister used to have a MySpace and I always wanted one because I wanted my own custom like you wanted thing. To Page. Yes, I wanted it so badly and then I got a Facebook and was so disappointed. Look at that, like I was learning how to code back in high school, didn't even know. No, for real, it's <laughs> legit. All right, so we are going to finish one eye off camera and we'll be <laughs> right back. All right, we are back, we have one eye done. We're gonna do the other one for you on camera. Now I've been like observing how you do your makeup and it is very <laughs> It's different. wild, right? <laughs> it's different. <laughs> It's definitely a journey. Are you a girl that does her makeup at home or do you like do it at the venue? I do my makeup at home. See, I am, and you drive to the venue? Yeah, I like driving in drag. Oh my God. I think it's fun. See, that terrifies the thought of even doing that like. <laughs> really? Mind you, I don't drive, but even being in the passenger seat in full drag is, or like even the drag face is a fear of mine. Oh, I, I just it. feel so right. <laughs> I'm just like, what's up everyone? I don't know, I like to show up, throw it on and take it off. No one ever has to see it. <laughs> right. I'm doing my contour. I'm interested to see how you do your contour. Yeah, my contour pretty much does itself. I have such like, I have a very gaunt face, I feel like. <laughs> a gaunt face? <laughs> because I'm like you're Batman. <laughs> very gaunt. My cheekbones kind of are already there. Everything's kind of already laid out. So I just follow my natural shape. The foundation is actually the quickest part of my routine, I would say. What takes the longest for you? Eyes. Always eyes. Okay, well, I planned this video right then. All right. Yes! <laughs> I'm curious, what are your drag inspirations? Um, well, as like far as queens or just like what I go for? What you go for, like what you like think of when you developed your character. So I, my drag character is more like based off of like modern technology and like AI, I feel like. So I try to be like an AI woman. <laughs> so like a muscle queen. Okay. I'm like a, like, you see, I got thinking of like, cyberpunk showgirl. I was thinking of like those AI images that was like a trend like a few weeks ago. No, where not like that. everyone's having like their artwork I made did of do them. That though, but no, not that. <laughs> I was no, like, just like, um, I like love fighting games and like grew up like playing Mortal Kombat with like Milena and Katana. Oh, okay. And those are like my two, those are my two favorites. So like they like inspired a lot of like what I do. Now I'm curious to dig a little bit more into the, your dancing career. Is there anything that I would be surprised by that you were a part of? Um, well, I actually did dance on All Stars season five. I what? was Miss Cracker's Legs in Clapback music video. Really? Yes, I was. <laughs> that was my gig. That was my job. <laughs> yes, it was super fun too. Miss Cracker's so sweet. That was the one where she does like the old leg bit with the legs. Like... Yes, like fully like straddled over and just sat right on top of me. I was like, okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Her petticoat was so big that it would just like lay on top of me too. So I was like under blackness, just trying to <laughs> kick my legs around. That's awesome. Like that was just for a day, I imagine, huh? Or do you like have lots of rehearsals? I think it, well, there was the onstage rehearsal and then um, the next day was swimming. That's crazy. Cause like I imagine dancing is just like that too. Like you just sometimes have to learn it that day. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It happens all the time, especially in like show business and stuff like this. I mean, you've probably even experienced that just with drag in general. It's like that as well. Not so much the extent of dancing though, because like I can imagine being told like I just learned a whole routine and then the day of they're like, okay, we're doing this. It's like that would throw everything off for me. I was like, no, right. no, no, we're, we're going to do the old one. <laughs> we're going to do the old one. <laughs> I don't care if it doesn't work for camera. We're doing the old one. I am really bad at winged eyeliner. My eyeliner stops like at the edge of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then I fill the rest in with black eyeshadow. I like to say I'm really good at winged eyeliner, but this just happened right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm no, so good at winged eyeliner. <laughs> Just veins. No, I, think I, I like that a lot about you is the fact that we are so wildly different, but like that's one thing I was looking for if I ever had drag children was just like, I want people to be in my like little house that aren't like me. Right. That are nothing like me. 
Because I don't want carbon copies of me. I already have me. One's enough. The world don't need more of that. <laughs> we have enough. Just <laughs> no, but for real, I also like it too because I can actually like learn something from you. Like I can take away new techniques and like new styles and it just makes me, I feel more versatile. And Versi versatile? <laughs> Am I verse? Sure. <laughs> no, and like for me, especially like when if say like you go on to do something great, I can take credit for it. I was like, yeah, I, I taught her that. That was I me. taught her that. <laughs> I taught her everything she knows. I'm so proud. <laughs> Every time you do a backflip and land on your heels, I say, just like I taught her. <laughs> just like I taught her. Just like when she was a little girl. I want to get so far in my psychosis where I'm just like, you'll do some like amazing stunt and be like, yeah, it's great, I know, but you should have seen me when I was younger and I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm the true mastermind of this. I invented it. Yeah, this eye took a much draggier direction than I had intended. Okay. I didn't expect it to get this big. Hanny, we're doing drag today. <laughs> drag is happening in this room. I mean, there is no spotlight here. There is no audience. So I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> we're getting a brunch eye today, kids. Oh, <laughs> brunch eye. You oh. do drag brunch, don't you? It's hamburger Mary's. I do. I'm a Mary's girl. I love my little hamburger Mary's family. I um, went to go see you, you know, being the proud parent that I am. And like the way that Carney Asada introduces <laughs> you on stage every single time. You know, she loves, she really loves to throw that on the Brooke Hogan of drag. That's like her favorite read for me. What a wrong, it's a really a long walk for a read. It's a long walk. Cause like you have to Google her. Just I mean, kidding. you are a bit of a muscular lady, but that's fine. I do. I do pull a lot of inspiration from like, um, like the physique competitor girls. Like, have you seen them? Oh yeah. Oh, they're so fierce. <laughs> like, I, was, I was a wrestling fan growing up. So like, I'm obsessed. I love that right. kind of thing. Like fitness models of the nineties were one of my favorite things. Right. Like they're so fierce. I think I'm going to start foundation. Now, now yeah. foundation? Now foundation. <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> As I start basically my finishing touches. <laughs> How is doing drag in the, in Las Vegas? I honestly really like it. I also feel like I fall into a different community than a lot of the drag queens do though. Like I feel like, cause like, I don't know. There's a lot of performers who do drag here. Yeah. And like, I feel like I follow a lot of them and like really enjoy seeing what they do. What surprised me the most about coming here in Las Vegas is like a lot of girls we consider local girls here are like performers in shows. So like you don't expect them to do some of the stuff that they can right. do. Like when I first saw you, I was like, what in the f <laughs> right, right. My mind was blown because I never saw someone like do those kind of tricks. Because like in Milwaukee, we have certain girls that can like do jump splits and all of that stuff. But like mm -hmm. you were doing like full on acrobatics, which was like right. blowing my mind. Right. Yeah. And like, I feel like a lot of girls, like even though like I do a lot of flips and acrobatics and like a lot of girls do that, I feel like everyone has their own style in the way that they do it. There's also a girl who performs at the garden. Her name's Scarlet, I think. Yes, yeah, Scarlet Business. She's also like an acrobat too, right? Yes, she is. She has I fears. I performed her a couple of times. She like cracked me up when I first worked with her because she was like, okay, I gotta go out and stretch. And like, I didn't think anything of <laughs> <Me>. it. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it because she's probably like doing like that, that split stretch that I always see girls do. No, bitch. <laughs> I walked out there and she's like on her hands. <laughs> like feet like wrapped around her neck probably. In it's the like, air, like one foot up here. There was like, what in the fuck? She yeah. <laughs> so that's Vegas drag. And you know, normally any other girl would get intimidated by that. But and I just think just to like... myself, I, did, I could do that if I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> They're lucky I don't try to do that. Okay, they're lucky I'm here. <laughs> that is literally, it's like, yeah, try doing that in the mermaid gown. So how long do you feel like it took you to like get to that point in drag where you were like, ah, okay. This is like, I, I know where this is going now. To be quite honest with you, when I first moved here, I was retired from it. Like I don't perform. Oh. I'd stop performing because I kind of lost the, the, the charge I got when I did it. Mm -hmm. It didn't excite me anymore. So I was just kind of retired to YouTube and that was that. And Alexis and Coco were bugging me nonstop about doing the garden. So I came out and did it. And I actually really enjoyed it. And it kind of reinvigorated a fire in me that I didn't, that I kind of forgot. Like it is fun to perform. Right. And with Vegas crowds, I mean, you can relate to this. It's ever changing. You never get the same people twice. 
Right, exactly. So you don't have to worry about bombing or anything. It's like, they'll never see these people again, for real. For real. And if they do come back, that's because they love you. Oh, and especially with brunch crowds. It's like, it's a vacation crowd, no matter what goes wrong. As long as they got a mimosa and a drag queen is doing some type of lip syncing in front of them, they're having a good time. What are you doing now? I'm contour. And I put it on like a mess so I can make it all like clean. Oh, you do creams? <laughs> yeah. I used to do that. I don't really see the difference with it. I just do powder. Yeah, I I always have to cover it again with powder. Yeah, see, you see, you see. We're, we'll we'll eliminate this step eventually. <laughs> <laughs> also, bear in mind the only thing I really do is YouTube, so like I don't really have to contour severely like that. Right, and I'm like in performer mode. My brain was like, ah, yes, paint for back row. <laughs> the back row is um a wall. Which, mind you, when I ever see photos of myself at brunch, sometimes I'm just like. <gasps> Like the flash will hit and like my makeup gets erased. And you're like, oh wow, that's why I do those extra steps. <laughs> I, that's why I started underpainting. <laughs> I saw a flashback picture and I was like, okay. All right, we are going to take a little break and be right back and do our finishing touches. <laughs> right back. Welcome back. This is the final result. Everyone meet my daughter, Bryce. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love the juxtaposition between us because like my drag is very like old school mm -hmm. and you're like very, very new school. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? On the break, you said like you look like my rebellious teen daughter. <laughs> I do. I feel like I'm like bit 16 and like about to sneak out of the house. This is my daughter. Yes, she's going to a phase right now. <laughs> Not a phase. <laughs> Not a phase, mom. I love it. It's like, you look so adorable and this yeah. hair looks familiar. Oh, uh, you know, a, a cute little mom may have made it for me, said it for me. <laughs> when I adopted her, I told her like, I'm gonna like help you out. So I blessed you with a lot of human hair wigs. Yes. For my dancing though, it's perfect. That stuff just whips around. You have to have human hair if you're a dancer. It just, it's- It takes it that next level. Pro tip, like invest in a human hair wig, at least one good one, because when you whip it- You get tips. <laughs> you whip it, they tip it. Who says I'm not supportive? She has pink hair and I don't even care. She's expressing herself. Now, Bryce, every once in a where can they find you? Um, you can find me everywhere at Bryce.Hartley. Everywhere, on all social media. All of them. Awesome. And I have to say, it was so wonderful getting to hang out with you and like Thank watch you. your makeup routine and silently judge it. Yeah, <laughs> my wild, wild adventure of getting my face on. One thing I will say is like, it definitely, you don't do things in order. No, <laughs> no, but what, who has a makeup order? <laughs> well, kitten, I love you. I can't wait to see the journey you're gonna go on and the rest of the drag career you're gonna do that I'm gonna take credit for. <laughs> I, well, I love you, Mom. Thank you for everything <laughs> and giving birth to me. <laughs> All right, well, you can do this with me, okay? Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch a domestic goddess make vegan cookies with Max Adonis. Or, so you try out the sugar pill, oh honey, two palettes. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll cry. Do you really want me to cry? Click it!